Okay. 107.5 WGCI, the shot's number one for hip-hop and R&B. Chicago is Zach Boog, and I'm telling you, my guest tonight, is his ice is blinding me. I can't even see his face because he's shining. I've got serial entrepreneur, my man, Kenny Smith. In the building. Kenny, what's going on, brother? What's going on, family? How you feeling, man? I'm good, brother. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good, man. Just got back out of the country. All right. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. All right. Now, I want to know, man. Um, tell tell the city what it is that you do exactly. Uh, so I do a lot of things. I've been dipping my hands lately in a lot of things. But mainly what I've been focusing on teaching my audience is the, the inside of leveraging your credit to be able to start businesses. So mm. the same exact way that I came up and being able to start multiple six-figure businesses to teach them exactly how I did it. Okay. So, and the way I did it was. Like, so what, what businesses do you own now? All right, so I'm, I got trucking business. Okay. I, I'm a mentor. I got a credit business, mm -hmm. business credit business. I got an ATM machine business, uh, a vending machine business, and I do like Airbnb and car rental camps. You got like 10 businesses. Like seven, like seven. Damn. Damn. All of them, all of them grow six figures? No, nah, not not all of them, not all of them. So I slowed down on like the ATM stuff and the vending machine stuff as it was like a beginning stage of getting into like investing and just entrepreneurship. That's where you started. Yeah, mm -hmm. I started there. So then I branched off into okay, I, I, I'm at the second tier now. I'm getting to things of making more money, more more money putting up and more money making. So I started branching off into more things of making more money. Yeah, the, the, the more profitable mm -hmm. businesses. That makes sense, man. So when did you find out in your journey? When did you find out credit was important? uh actually just like a year and a half ago two years ago wow i had no knowledge about credit either uh -huh. so i understand the other side about other people too that's why i teach it as well so that's why i mentor and teach it because i didn't learn nothing about it for a year and a half two years ago now i think but in this within this two years this is what's got me to where i am and being put me in positions where i never thought i probably could be that's dope so what what are some things that um you can do with credit that you think people may not know about uh, you can get access to six figures uh, without having no money in your pocket. This is how we can get access to six figures. Most people haven't seen 50000 Most people haven't seen $100,000. We can be able to position ourselves. We can get this stuff within a week, within two weeks. Wow. If we know how to position ourselves. Right. That's true. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that's like, I'm just out here just talking. You know what I'm saying? But I did this myself. So it's and this is all legal. Yeah, it's all, all legal. You're not a scammer. Nah. Okay. I don't need You're shining like a scammer, but this is legit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can live the life anybody lives. Right, by right. Doing this. Right. I, I love that, man. Yeah. So so you're, you're a coach as well. Mentor, yeah. Mentor exactly. and coach. And how old are you? 28. 28 years old. You was born, that means you was born probably in 93. 93. Yeah. So you, this man was born in. In, in 93 and the reason i want to emphasize that is because a lot of my listeners are young you know what i'm saying a lot of my listeners are trying to figure out the next thing to do the next way to build income for their families and you know set themselves straight they tired of their nine to five job man you know what i'm saying what would be the first step to building your credit the first step to building your credit everybody <laughs> always got something negative on them it's either from their parents putting cable bills in <laughs> yeah <there>. facts <laughs> Light bills and water bills, it's starting from there, or you messed up something, you, you did a little, you know, furniture store, you got a car you messed up on, anything yeah. like that. Yep. Yeah. Everybody, more times than not, got something negative on it that we need to be able to remove from to be able to start to build and move forward. Yeah. So that's the first step. Let's clean it up. Everything got to be clean. Nothing negative. The way we want to play with credit, we don't want nothing negative on it, and most people got negative things on it. Negative credit. So I, I know some people who follow their credit very closely. Now, I know some that never look at their credit. I fall in the middle. Um, but I, I do want to I do want to ask you this. How often do you look at your credit score? I think I look at my credit score every day now. Man, that's every, what I, I open it every day. I hear that from people who got good credit. Yeah. People who have good credit look at their credit score all the time. They're constantly like, oh, yeah, yeah. It just went up. <laughs> oh, let me check it because it's good. You know why we don't look at it? Cuz ours is bad. <laughs> Right, and you know the, what I'm saying. The first step into getting the good is peeling that that layer back. Like I gotta look at this. If I look at it, it's gonna encourage me to do what I need to do to get it up to where it needs to be. So right, we gotta pull that cover back to be looking at it to make it make sense. To so make it better. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like you you have to go to the gym to get your body right. Eventually, yeah. you know what I'm saying. You can even go see the doctor, but you still gotta have a consultation. You just can't think it through. Yeah. Um, I do want to say what what is the main message that you want to get across to your mentees? Uh, so right now, also, I got 500 students, so I'm doing a pretty good gym, but, but the first thing I teach is that, like, just to get them the concept of you can use other people's money to get to where we're going. So 
people seeing me do things first, like when I first got my ATM machine business in Chicago. And then it was like a big thing. Like it, yeah. it, it went went pretty big because it was the first time seeing young black man, oh, you can own these things. Like I've been using this, we've been using ATM for ATM machines for years. Right. But oh, you can be the one on the end receiving the money when they, the transactions are happening. Wow. You know what I mean? So I, I really just want to open up eyes to these type of things so that most people can see it, like that this is possible for any and everybody to do once you learn the process of how this stuff goes. So basically people need to be learning and that's that's really what got me to where I'm going is learning, 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 and learning. Right. That's 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 dope, man. I I really admire that because you know, and that's one thing I want to do with the show. Period. It's just shine light on people like you. You know what I'm saying? You you in Chicago, you hear all the negative things. You hear about the shootings, the this, the that, killings, and people not being not being successful or whatever. But the stories, like what you're telling. When did you st when did you start your first business? How old were you? Uh man, that was shoot, that was a year, and a, like a year and a half ago, two years ago. I just so you're mid twenties, you know what I'm saying? And now you sitting back right. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you this: Have you have you made more money than your parents have ever made uh, yearly? I yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, I think I believe anybody in my family, if I'm not mistaken. Right. I believe so. And that's that's the goal, man. Yeah. That's that's that should be the goal. If you listening to me right now, that should be the goal. You want to be the richest person in your family, so you can take care of everybody. And then, I mean, don't give all your money away and let them mess up your credit, because as you see, credit is really important. But you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just in awe of this, man, for real. Let me ask you this: What is the biggest purchase you've ever made with your credit? So right now, made with credit. Right now, uh, this one. So I got two that's neck and neck. Uh, my car. I just bought a 2020, 2022 Corvette. Okay, uh, Corvette, Corvette. Hop in the like that. <laughs> Hell, they talking about. <laughs> No miles on it, but uh, so that was that was like one ten. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I invested into my trucking company. So my trucking company, I probably spent about one, about about a hundred on okay. investing to that. Some of my own, I spent a hundred from credit, and then a hundred my own Right into the trucking business. So I take it you put your Corvette in your business name. I did. That's that would be the smart way to do it. One hundred percent the smart way. Yeah. So that that debt is not hurting you on your personal side so we can still play with our personal side while having this 100k loan now Ooh, you gotta teach me the game yeah. baby <laughs> nah, yeah. i can't wait to, oh my god <laughs> i'm about to sign up chicago i don't know about y'all if you're not sold you need to get on it man because this is this is the type of stuff man like everybody can't rap i'm gonna tell you right now a lot of y'all mixtapes is trash okay no this to the people whose stuff is good but a lot of your music is trash okay a lot of people can't go to the NBA. I was one of them. You too short. You know what I'm saying? I used to, you, too. I used to think I was. Yeah, I used to NBA. think I was going to the league. I'm going <laughs> to the league. No, you're not. You're a five seven, <laughs> and you're not even the best player on your high school team. You barely made it. Coach just like you. You know, so you're not. This is something that you all can do. Everybody, I don't care if you felon. I don't care if you tall, short, black, white. You know, if you never knew nothing, you always knew something. Stuff. It don't matter what. If you if you learn it, yeah, you'll be able to use it. Anybody. This is something you can all do. And that's what I think we need to be teaching. That's the what the, the word we need to be spreading. That's a fact. I, you know what you know what I consider this stuff as? It's like it's like uh how I think about credit now, it's like a GPS. It's like a, a you know, if, if we was in the world, right, and we didn't have our GPS, imagine not having a GPS mm. and just going throughout through, 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 you know, trying to go get go to Chick fil A somewhere. Yeah. You would just would be would driving you be around. No, you, I, be, not now. Man, what? Yeah, we wouldn't be able to live. We wouldn't be able to live life without the GPS. Be hard I'm trying to look at that big old map. Right. But now imagine somebody in my position where I've done it. I can guide you. You know, give you a step by step blueprint. Give you a, something you can follow that is make it easier for you. Make it an easier process for you to understand and actually do it now. Then so so it don't seem so far fetched. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I like to put it in that perspective as well. I like that analogy. Kenny, um, how can people reach you, though? If they want to be a part, if they want to be one of your mentees and get a hold to you, how can people get in contact with you? I'm heavy on Instagram, man. But this is the thing about Instagram. It's about 20 fake pages. So I got to say the exact, <laughs> name, the exact okay. name for them to be able to follow. Okay. All right. So it's underscore S-M-I-T-T-Y-T-H-E. G O A T underscore. So it's underscore Smitty the Goat. I got plus 50,000 followers. So if it don't got that many followers and don't say the exact name, that is not my page. That is not Smitty the Goat. Okay. Yeah. I only follow Smitty the Goat. You need to get verified, brother. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I'm in awe. I, 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 think, I think this is dope. 
Um, I'm getting ready to join your your mentoring uh, class. I'll get my credit right. I need to get my credit right. Get my businesses out there so I can get me a bet. Corvette, uh, Corvette. Uh, yeah. Corvette, Corvette. You hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, every, everybody got to get their stuff right, man. Everybody. It, it don't make no sense not to. We're getting too old, too grown. And, yeah. Uh, and then we can't tap into other things that we may got ideas, you know, or plans to do if we don't get access to the funds that we need. And this is the route that everybody can use to get the funds. What's your overall goal? Man, I think now uh, that I got so deep into teaching people, and, I, and at first this wasn't my plan. I, I wasn't planning on, oh, I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to teach everybody in the world this. But as I did it, and there was so many people intrigued and so many people interested in trying to understand how is he doing this. And especially from my hometown, Chicago, that they don't know nothing about this stuff. Right. Now I feel like I want to almost open a school. I, I want to almost open an academy or a university for people to come to to be able to learn these type of things and come through it and be able to, all right, from point A to point Z, when you come in this program, you come in this school, you're going to learn this, that, and the third. And when you graduate, you should be putting yourself in position to make some moves. That's heavy, bro. So That's, that's heavy. That's, heavy. that's, that's the type of school we need. You know what I'm saying? I w Man, if I could have went to a school like that, to talk to me how to get capital and get money and, you know, be self-sufficient when I, you know, graduate, I would do that in a heartbeat. Bro, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here struggling in Algebra 2 and have yet to use it. Man. I ain't used none of it. They need real classes in school, <laughs> like how to drive on a suspended license. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> How to use your white people voice on a phone interview. Hello. <laughs> you need to know <laughs> stuff you really need out here. Man, for real, man. Kenny, give them your uh, your handles one more time. Yep. Yeah, so YouTube, Smitty the Goat. Uh, I got TikTok, Smitty the Goat. Instagram, underscore Smitty the Goat, underscore. Smitty the Goat, man. I appreciate you, bro. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Yeah. I think I got some more tips for him, though, real quick. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Um, so I want to teach people uh, what they need to be doing with their credit cards just to give them some real insight. Um, we don't want to spend cash no more. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of people in this world that like to spend cash, right? When I explain it to them, they understand. You spend cash every day. Let's just say you spend cash every day. I, do. I use my credit card every day. Uh -huh. As I'm spending money, you're spending $5,000 a month, rent, car note, clothes, kids, whatever the case may be. You yep. spend $5,000, i am spending 5000 I get something in return off every dollar I spend by me using my credit card. So I get reward points or cash back money. Of every dollar I spend, no matter what, yeah, you get nothing. Mm. We could do the same thing every day, all day, every month, every month. Now I get to travel for free. Wow. I get to I get to pay hotels for free. I get car rentals for free when I go out of go out of town for free the whole year. Mm -hmm. You got to pay for your travel. Everybody like traveling. Yep. And Just, you know what? My best friend was telling me about that because he's been on the credit thing heavy. Yeah. He was like, "Bro, stop using your debit card." He's been cussing me out for the <laughs> last two months. Yeah. You still ain't went up there and got you a credit. Stop. He, he always tells me, stop using your debit card. You're just throwing away money. He was like, you need to get these points. Yeah. He was like, I spent 3000 and got $750. Yeah. You know what I'm Bonus. saying? Bonus. Like, they just gave him mm -hmm. $750 to use. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess my question with that is, what if you're not that disciplined to go? So you know how people will have, mm -hmm. I think the key is, and you can, you definitely know better than me, is if you spend on your credit card, you have to make sure that you pay Mm -hmm. That so, credit card, right? Yeah. So we grown. You gotta be. You gotta. You gotta know to be disciplined. That's just what. If you see, you want to play around. You want to. Oh, you want to get to where you want going. Facts. Get to where you are going. And then it's like this. That's how I teach you too. Uh, when we spend the money off our credit cards, let's have the money to pay it right back off. So you're going to spend money on gas. You're going to spend money on your phone bill. You're going to spend money on your car note. This is everybody going to pay that or your rent, whatever case it be. But let's spend the money off our credit cards and then pay the money right back off with the money we was already going to spend anyway. Right. So it's as if. We used our cash, but we just ran it through our credit card so we can reap the benefits on the back end. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So why not just do that anyway? We want to spend this amount of money anyway. Why not reap the benefits off the credit card to do it instead of doing it with our own money? Yep. That's that's it. That's the yeah. game, bro. Yeah. That's the game. He just gave us the game, man. Like I said, tell him where, tell him where to find you. It's <laughs> ready to go, man. It's ready to go. I got it on my hat right now, too. As a matter of fact. He got it on his hat, on his socks hat. You know, Smitty I had, got his. I had, I had did you go to Chicago. the game today? I didn't go to the game today. Oh, okay. But I had to come in and rep in Chicago real hard today. Okay. So I had to get my stuff right. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Give it up for yeah. Smitty to go. What kind of watch is that, Smitty? This is a, uh, this is a bust down, Roby. Let me That's see the bust down. Roby. Come on, let me see the bust down. Let, 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 let me see the bust. I ain't never seen a bust down up close. You ain't seen it up close, man. Get the, get the bust down, man. You see a bust down, Roly? Yeah, this now, did you get that with credit? I did not get this with credit. But, Cash! <laughs> no, I'm just but I got it off 
the businesses I leverage my credit to start to mm -hmm. get the cash flow to then be able to buy stuff like this with no problem. Right. Comfortably. Comfortably. You know and, and not stressed out or flexing and you ain't got yeah. it. So I yes. love it. But some people, I've been hearing a narrative like, oh man, you flashy and stuff like that. But I kind of just switch it up a little bit. I call it an educational flex because I, I wanted this stuff, you know what I mean, before I was able to afford it. How am I flashy? Because I getting the things I'm able to afford now, doing it legitly, and I'm teaching you how you can do it too. So I'll be messing Ooh, them up. <laughs> you messed them up with that. Yeah. Drop that GM one more time. It's called an educational flex. Educational flex. You ain't educational flexing. See, that's the problem. You niggas out here just flexing. Yeah. Get you some educational flex. <laughs> yeah. Where I'm not flexing on you. This is really just to draw you in so you can be interested. You know, when that's you see the bus down, Roly, that's, that's part of it, too. It's marketing. It's part of it, yes. You know what I'm saying? People going to be like, oh, I want to bust down, Roly. Well, come on. This is how you do it. The legit way. Facts. I love that, bro. I really do. I'm really do I'm proud of you, brother. And I just met you today. And I'm proud of you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Kitty, tell them one more time where to find you. Sweetie the Goat, man. Underscore Sweetie the Goat. Underscore. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, all the handles, man. Uh, I, I really just, I really teach this stuff all day on my pages. I don't even have a regular page no more. It's all about anytime I'm posting, it's to educate y'all, put y'all on game, put y'all on the play. Uh, yeah, like two days ago, I dropped something with this bank. I found this little secret bank. They gave, they giving out 50,000, 80,000 in one day. So I posted on my page, man. They ate that stuff up, man. Wow. I usually give it to my people who pay. Right. I, I unleashed it to the, to the internet. And, and man, they've been going crazy. I think I probably seen three hundred thousand dollars come through my page. Like I got proof of this. I got proof of this in about a week. It was wow! Crazy. People just being able to get it for free. Get it and then and start their business. What, what's your most lucrative company? Uh, right now, uh, my credit repair business. Okay. So it's a lot of people out here that need their credit fixed, and they're starting to see that I'm very educational on how they can get it fixed, how we can do it. So my credit business has risen up to a high standard. Okay. So that's been going pretty good for me. My coaching program is going pretty good to me too. Now, uh, my trucking company probably will surpass this right. as I grow my trucking company. So I only got two semi trucks right now. Right. As I get maybe three or five semi trucks, I'll probably surpass everything with that. Yeah, yeah, trucking is trucking. The transportation industry is crazy. Reckless. Um, <laughs> per truck, I'll probably bring in ten to fifteen thousand dollars profit a month per truck I get. So it's gonna do some. It's gonna do some damage. That's gonna do damage, bro. Yeah, that's gonna do damage. We mm -hmm. need to get up. Come on, man. I got a little cash. <laughs> yeah, start. You told me not to use my damn cash, so I gotta use the credit. Yeah. For real, that's dope, man. I, I, I'm proud of you, brother. Um, yeah. There, there. You have it. any, any, any other gems you want to get off? Cause every time I wrap it up, <laughs> you drop another gem. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I think I got a few more things I could give them. Um. Are we talking about uh, cars in our business now? I teach them how to go do it. Um, Bank of America. Bank of America allows you to get three cars in your business name with no money down if you have a 700 credit score. All you gotta do is go to the Bank of America website, go to the business auto loan section, right? I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit what I be doing. Can't tell, can't be telling everybody. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. I, get, I open up three windows. So, you know, we got Safari, Internet Explorer, and we got Firefox, three in different internet browsers. Right. What I do is, uh, I fill out my applications all at three at a time. Mm -hmm. So if I fill my application out 99% on this one, fill my application out 99% on this one, fill my application out 99% on all three browsers, and I press submit all three at one time, I'll get one inquiry pool for three different auto loans so I can be able to get approved for three different cars in my business name with no money down for one inquiry. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's cold. That is cold. <laughs> you next level with it. Nah, yeah. And that's... Man, that's the thing, because I'm at the point where I was like, so I, I paid off my, my car, my, my current mm -hmm. car that I drive okay. now. And the only car I have under in my name is my wife's car. And I'm, I'm going to pay that off as soon as I can, right? Okay. Um, but I was like, I want to buy a new car. It's time for a new car. But I just, I just didn't feel comfortable putting a loan on my personal credit. I've just not felt comfortable with it. That's what stopped me. I was like, I don't want to put no loan under my personal credit I, I i just i'm debt free now yeah, you know but, what i'm saying i, I want to stay like that and you don't want to because when we're trying to go buy properties that hurts us when yeah we try, when we try to go get more money they look at that so why not put it in our business name so we still can do the other things we got to do without it being penalized it's the same thing it's a, it's a way you can go you gotta you gotta build your business credit up too though yeah you gotta you gotta it's the same way with credit you don't got no credit it's like you don't really got nothing or it's in a sense bad 
but we can build it. So when you build it, go to the lot, get something in your business, ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? But we don't go to lots anywhere to get cars anyway. A lot of people do this too. Let me put them on this too. Okay. We don't go to dealerships. They are not our friend type of thing. Okay. All right. The banks and credit unions is where we go to first. So it could be, you know how long it take us in the car dealerships to get a car when we go into dealerships? Yeah, yeah. They make you pay a down payment. Mm -hmm. They give you, mess up your credit with 10 or 15 inquiries. Mm -hmm. And they make you pay high, high interest rate. Well, you go to a credit union first. No down payment. You get a pre-approval first of less fifty, sixty thousand. They mm -hmm. give you a check of how much the money is. Take the check to the car dealership. You paying for the car in full now. Now the process is ten minutes. Yep. Oh, I want this car. Oh, I got sixty thousand full. Sixty thousand. Get my car. Yep. Now we paying that credit union monthly mm -hmm. and low interest. No yeah. down payment. That's how I bought my wife's car. Five minute process. I did the same. I went to the bank and got it because I was like, nope. Dealership will mess you up. Man. Yeah, dealership is terrible. terrible. Dealership because they messed me up on my last car, mm -hmm. so that I, I had got screwed over so bad <laughs> that I was like, never again. And it's kind of that's why I said it kind of got me nervous to even purchase car because I'm like, I don't even want to play in that game with them no more. Mm -hmm. That's dope, man. Oh man, <laughs> any, any more gems? Yeah, we, we can exit. We can exit. We good? They're gonna, they're gonna tap in. Man. They're gonna have to tap got, in. Got, you done gave me so much. I got a, I got a hundred of them to be honest. Yeah, man. Hey, Kenny in. Smith, tap in, bro. Hit him up on Instagram underscore Smitty the Goat. Um, it's your boy Zach Bullies, GCI. We out. All right. Let's do it.